Hello YouTube and welcome to this new video. Today we are in company of my old girl Samsung Galaxy S3 and now I, I've just flashed Ubuntu Touch so I will now explore it with you and make you see how's the development going. So uh, let's reboot and hope it works. Uh, oh, it's already it already booted. Okay, really nice. Uh, wow, cool, indeed. This is the first time I'm trying Ubuntu Touch, and I'm kind of excited. <laughs> There are some bugs on this firmware because it is the S3 and not everything is working, but it should be fine. So first of all, let's see the the dock on the launcher on the left. If I swipe right from here, it hints me that I have to swipe from here. So yeah, here we have the launcher with the applications and I think this is the home button, yes, we are in the home now uh, let me just um, change the brightness so that you can see better so this is the home screen we have some applications so the phone isn't working but the app is there so just normal phone application and then the running apps if I hold this I can close it oh th there's something wrong here so the camera the camera should be working both the frontal and the rear camera so let's just wait for the application to open and I fear it crashed. The old system crashed apparently. So I'm just going to uh, wait for it to. Why did the brightness dim? Uh, let's just try a hard reboot. I shut it down and now it is rebooting. Uh, apparently there is no boot animation, but I can see it is working because of one pixel illuminated on this part of the screen. You can probably see it, but I do. So, um, yeah, nice. Let's get to the home screen. We have here favorite people. We do not have people. So, recent music, videos popular online. We will see this later. So the gallery, don't crash again. Okay, events, and we do not have photos or anything. So I do not expect anything here. Uh, let's try again with the camera and hope it doesn't crash. Okay, it started. So yeah, the camera is working. I see no problems with it. So I'm going to make a sample photo, a pair of sample photos, with the flash active, okay, the flash is working, with the automatic flash, and let's, okay, this is strange. The frontal camera is upside down for some reason. Let's try switching it again. Don't crash, please. Don't crash. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it crashed. <laughs> I told you this isn't stable. But it is still a nice... Whatever it is. I mean, Ubuntu Touch will come out uh, sooner than you think. So, this, this is a preview. This isn't even meant to be working on this device so yeah no problems the reboot is so fast I don't even care if it crashes 
So I I took a photo. So let's see. Okay, I took two photos. So this is the first one. Pinch to zoom, and pinch to zoom is quite as I expected. It has a normal mod and a zoomed mod that does not change. It is just that dimension. You can do anything about it. And if I swipe like this, I get the other photo. Yeah, my my PC isn't that clean, so don't, don't even care about it. Let's get back to the home. So this is the gallery, and I close it. The apps, apps. So uh, let's get to Gmail and see what happens. I think this is a web app. Yeah, network error. So I'm just going to configure the Wi-Fi. Yes, the Wi-Fi works. Strangely, networks. Oh, come on. I still don't get why this is so complicated. Uh, I will censor this. Oh, yeah, the keyboard is really nice. Just normal keyboard, but white. Uh, all white, I don't know why, but this feels strange. Maybe because I'm used to the classic Android keyboard. You probably can't even see it because it's too bright. Right. Let's try to move the camera. Uh, you should now see it. Just normal keyboard. Yeah, too, too damn bright. I think this connecting. And we got it. I turned off the automatic brightness. Why is this on? I don't know. So let's get to Gmail. And this is the web app. I won't do anything here. So um, the browser. Yeah, the browser is quite interesting. This is a WebKit based browser. Nothing much to say, just standard browser. It crashed again. Opening a browser. Seriously? Okay. Let's wait it for to boot. Okay, booted. No circle spinning. Why? Again it crashed. Just boot and crashed. <laughs> this is far from being stable. Oh jeez. I'm just happy to finally try this since I waited so long to try this Ubuntu Touch. I'm really excited by the the idea itself of making one just one operating system for all platforms. It is just so cool to me. Uh, so yeah, let's get back to home screen. And let's try again with the browser. Apparently, it memorized the network, so this is just one more thing to add to the working things. Yeah, this is the Ubuntu home, home page. Uh, the browser doesn't feel really natural. I mean, we can just scroll in one direction, like this, or, and get to release and scroll vertically if we want to. And the pinch to zoom. Uh, his, his response is good but doesn't feel comfortable and I don't know just feel strange feel so I suppose I have to go here yes and let's go to my, where is the bar anyway I don't know yeah it crashed again really 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 nice uh, we go here and we just type my blog blogspot.com anyways my blog with the mobile interface for some reason I can pinch to zoom this but um, yeah it isn't working it's just gesture it, it feels butter smooth and I, I, I mean this is really really, really good really Mm, appreciable, appreciable. I mean, this isn't even official. And this is just great. I think I will give it a, ch a chance when it when it comes to stable release. So 
it is awkward that we have the navigation bar down here and one thing that I wanted you to notice is that if you swipe down the keyboard it actually disappears so this is really nice Ubuntu touch is all focused on uh, gestures so everything is a gesture if I want to there should be a tab navigation or something similar this this gesture actually does nothing apparently I press appear search and it crashed again no no it didn't crash how this search even works oh I don't care so uh, these are Facebook and Amazon are web apps so um, I won't open them you probably already know and the calculator really nice nothing to to say uh, the clock application not much to say use the location to do see uh, we have just the standard time it is wrong it is um, 1 p.m. here 1 28 p.m. in Italy so we can oh up here we can switch to alarm we can set an alarm to um, three seconds Or three minutes? I don't know what what is going on. Maybe it is three minutes. No, no, it no, it didn't crash. So done. Okay. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Zero. One to two what? Two. And again three what? I don't even I don't even have time. So. Oh, it is. Oh, it is an alarm! This is the timer! Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. 3, 20, 4, 4. Okay, 4. Start the timer. How do I even start it? Oh, 21. Mm, this is save it, press set. I didn't want to. 4, start. 3, 2, 1. Uh, not even sound uh, maybe this is maybe the sound isn't working volume is okay it isn't mute no it isn't muted so yeah I just don't know how to feel stopwatch uh, nothing much to say there is something awkward here they have to fix the uh, screen dimension that and this bar down here that it it is just useless, it is just on the way. So the clock again, and just nothing. Let's get back to the home and let's go to YouTube and see if it works. This should be again a web app. So, oh no, available for download. So the <laughs> these aren't working. These aren't working. These are just there. Oh yeah, this is a multi um, a multitasking feature. We can switch between apps this way. Very nice, very nice. Okay, looks back to back to the home screen. Videos, videos. We have videos that probably don't work. So Tears of Steel. I already seen it. Let's see if it works. It should open YouTube or what? Why don't you just admit that you're freaked out by my robot head? <laughs> Should I see anything? Oh, again it crashed. Maybe... <laughs> okay. This is just so stupid. This is pretty freaking... This is just the stupidest thing I've ever seen. The stupidest malfunction. The screen is... Blah, it's is there not responding to anything and the audio just goes on what what why 
Ah, uh, I need to crash again. Oh, maps video. Okay, videos again. Nice, really, really nice animation. And the animations are the one thing I'm really happy. I'm really happy about. These just feel butter smooth and God, they just feel so damn good. Tears of Steel. Let's see it. Why don't you just admit that you're freaked out by my robot hands? Automatic rotation works. <laughs> this is pretty freak. Yes, this is Ubuntu. God, I'm getting mad about this. Uh, Okay, you've seen the, the video. I will never, ever, ever, ever run a video again. Um, no recent, so yeah, you see recent movies. I don't think they work. Oh yeah, you can buy on Amazon or rent for for rent for, for rent for rent. Just say rent. Okay, landscape mode doesn't work, but rain for one day maybe on Ubuntu one. And Django pop and popular videos online, and I don't even want them. So I don't know why there is a videos uh, tab. Maybe because videos are the one thing you you love about the internet, but um, seem feels just unnecessary. So uh, I mean, you have okay, it, here it is people, people here and music here. So no, I can do nothing because I, I need something like a file manager or calendar. I'll switch to the calendar you haven't seen yet. This is a message or what? Okay, this is the calendar August and June, July. New event. I create a new event in this window and do not want to investigate any further. For some reason, there are uh, applications that are not listed in this screen. So, uh, if I want some more applications, I have to to see in this screen. So, this is notes, and this. Uh, why is the keyboard there? I just want to switch back to Android, please, please. So, uh, notes. Let's give it another chance. Monday, I wrote a note with nothing at all. So, this is my note. And. I. What, what if I. Oh, yeah, right. I deleted it. So, I. No, but let's get back. I don't want it. Uh, the weather app and no locations, obviously. At one. Mm, I can't add any location, so. Mm, no, I can I can't do anything. Okay, let's pretend it was something. And then Twitter that should be another web app, maybe. Uh yes, this is a web app. This is just so well made that you don't you not even uh, notice it. Yeah, web app. Recent music. What is this? I don't know. This obviously doesn't work. It is popular online again. Favorite people. I don't need, do not even have an application to manage people. How am I supposed to have favorite people? Well, at least we do not have the sample ones. The previous Ubuntu Wave version. Okay, it crashed again. And with this last crash, the video is over. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more of this and see you in the next video. Goodbye.